Listen, we got breaking news involving the NBA draft. And from all reports, you know, if you looked at many numerous early mock drafts, it had Stephon Castle slated to go to the Charlotte Hornets. It looked like it was interesting with the Charlotte Hornets. But uh, from all reports now, as I'm able to tell you, that we do have breaking news that Stephon Castle has no interest in um, going to a team that has a starting point guard in place. Um, he will not, you know, work out with teams that have a starter point guard. Um, and that rules out Charlotte. He will not be taking the trip to work out for the Charlotte Hornets. He has no interest. And um, to be honest with you, it's a tough situation because, and like I said, he, he did, he's not just Charlotte. It's every team who has a starting point guard in place, you know, um, so uh, clearly to me, I think that this is a market employee for, um, you know, the for the San Antonio Spurs to basically swoop in and basically get a, get them, you know, in my, in my humble opinion. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a tough situation. You got Atlanta, you got Washington, you got Houston, um, San Antonio, Detroit. So you ruling out um, a lot of different teams here, you know, who possibly can pick him. You know, it seems like he he just wants to be locked in at number four. Um, like Atlanta, you clearly see Trey not going one, two. You know, you know what's going on there. You got Poole, Houston. You got Green. San Antonio was just flashing. Number five, you got Detroit, you Cade Cunningham and Charlotte, you got LaMelo Ball and B1. Seven, you got Scoot Henderson, and back to eight is San Antonio. So it seems like to me that Stephon Castle, it will be a lock, you know, to go to the San Antonio Spurs if you just go off of what he would like. Um, but I think that he could be making a mistake. I think teams, you know, uh, but like it all depends on what he wants out of his career. You know, but San Antonio would be ideal, you know, play. It's hard. It's going to be hard pressed to say you don't want to play with Victor Wimbenyama and be that starting point guard because it's going to be hard to mess that up. But I think teams like um, Charlotte, um, a win now, of obviously Detroit, you know, you don't want to go there with Ivy, Cade, and all that. You don't want all that mess. But I think a team like Charlotte is perfect, you know, and I think he possibly could be making a mistake. Um, I think that he, you know, LaMelo does come off ball, but I mean, if you just want to be the primary ball handler, that's not happening, you know, with LaMelo ball there at the end of the day. LaMelo is an elite playmaker, a generational playmaker, you know, um, a superstar extraordinaire. I mean, box off, you talk about the box office appeal. We're talking about in this draft where basically, you know, there's no star power, it's a weak draft. That was not the case when LaMelo Ball was coming out of the draft. You understand? LaMelo, he puts people in seats. You understand? He is just box office. And I can't, can't say it no more. So I understand that Stefan Castle could feel threatened, you know, playing behind uh, or uh, alongside of a guy like that. Um, but I just think that this is another situation where the San Antonio Spurs are implementing marketing tactics to get the player that they want. You know, I believe that it was a situation, like I, everything just worked out too ideal, you know, uh, for them to get Victor Wimbenyama. You know, it just was too perfect for the France kid. They swooped in to get the number one pick. I, I mean, it was just crazy. I, I start to think, you know, was it a situation where if Victor came out and said, hey, I, I want to go to San Antonio, that's the only way I'm coming, this, that, and the third, and they made sure they fought the way to get him out there. Now you got a situation here um, and um, with this Diaz drive where San Antonio, they may not even be looking to take Stephon Castle. San Antonio has, um, what is it, they have two picks, if I'm not mistaken. They're going to have four and eight. Who's to say that San Antonio wants to take Stefan Castle at number four? You know, they might want to, they might want him to do all of this stuff, not go to these workouts, alienate Charlotte so they don't pick you. You know, and who's to say that's not gonna work? You understand? Um, and then they just go ahead and, and they able to select him eighth, you know, because every other team has passed on him. Is that the marketing tactic now for San Antonio? You know, but 
you know, I, like I said, Stefan, he's a, he's a good, he's a winner. You know, he comes from the Georgia, you know, um, obviously he's been balling, he's been dominant since high school. Uh, Stefan Castle, he doesn't want to play a lot. Let me get in the, in the, get in the comment section as well to let me know, um, is he making a mistake by saying he doesn't want to work out with these teams? Is it going to even work? Um, this, this marketing tactic that he's, he's doing here, you know, but like I said, he's avoiding draft workouts with teams who have started point guards, you know, um, so it says he also appears to be avoiding private workouts with teams that already have starting point guards in place, a strategy that might not be as effective as in the past as every team in the top 15 has his medicals because of a rule change implemented this year. Um, in that case, one can infer that Castle wants to be a team starting point guard as soon as he steps foot on the NBA court. Um, you know, and like I said, that may not even be the case. You know, um, Castle fared well in his long season at UConn, scoring 11.1 point, points on 47.2% shooting while grabbing 4.7 rebounds, addition 2.9 assists. Castle does need to work on his shot. Um, you know, he's shooting 26.7% from three, but there's plenty to like about his game. Uh, he also saved his best for the final four throughout averaging 18 points or 50% shooting five rebounds per game. Uh, and he won a national title, you know, um, Castle notably did this despite missing a month early in the season with a knee injury that required a procedure. So he did have a procedure in the early part of the season. Um, Castle um, going fifth overall to the – the people have him slated to go fifth overall to the Pistons. And like I said, you know, that's a serious log jam. And he already don't want to be there with a starting point guard. And, you know, Kay Cunningham is running the ones and twos over there. You know, so um, it, it, to me personally, the only fit for him to get all of the things that he's looking for is San Antonio. You know, so it's rough, you know. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. People view him as um, a Josh Hart kind of player, maybe a better offensive player than Josh Hart. But, you know, and if you, you need guys like that. And that's why I'm saying, you know, why he may be making a mistake not wanting to come to Charlotte because you may want to be, the, you may want to be a starting point guard the day you step foot. But how about coming, stepping foot and being part of a winning situation? You understand? You know, um, that, that goes a long way, you know. But, hey, if that's not what you want, you know, it's all about, you know, I, it, like I said, I ain't going to make those adjustments. I ain't going to make those assessments. Uh, pardon me. Um, let's just see if the kid gets what the kid wants. But I'm here to report news. He will not be working out for teams who have a starting point guard. Let's get in the comment section. It's Flights Boys TV. You already know what it is.